checking all of these awesome books in the book vending machine. I know. Have you been able to receive a token yet, Miss Canada? I haven't. Well, we're looking for good behavior, uh, looking how well you're working, all that good stuff. So maybe one day, okay? I'm going to try real hard. But while you're here, I want to tell you something. Okay. Are you ready for our awards for April? Yes. Hey, it is time, boys and girls. Uh, so I've already looked at the awards, which I get to do every time because I sign them, and I bet you don't even have an idea who's going to get awards. I don't. I'm really excited to find out who it is. All right, guys. I tell you what. Stay tuned, and you will know who's going to receive awards. Congratulations, boys and girls. Hi, everyone. This is your video for the awards for the month of May. These awards are for third, fourth, and fifth grade. All right. Let's get started with third grade's award winner. We have Hunter. Congratulations, Hunter. I picked Hunter for this award because I noticed that he is competitive. And when you are competitive, that means you're sort of pushing yourself a little bit harder. So when I say push yourself, I mean you're giving your best effort, but you're also doing things with control. So I noticed that Hunter does that. He shows control, but he is also trying his hardest at the games. So congratulations, Hunter, on your best efforts. All right, our fourth grade award winner is Lennox. Congratulations, Lennox. All right, Lennox um, understands the games. So whenever I'm giving instructions, I notice Lennox's eyes on me, and that helps him to understand some of the things that we're going over that are a little more detailed for your grade. So we're moving a little bit past the skills for your grade, and we're moving into strategies. So a lot of the games, you guys need to start thinking about where you need to be in position for the field and for offense and defense. So Lennox has a good understanding of that, and that shows when he plays his when he's in PE class. Congratulations, Lennox. All right, my last award winner is for fifth grade, and it is Miley. Uh, Miley is a person that I know shows very good skill in PE. Um, like my other award winners, she also puts forth um, good effort. So it's not just the fact that some people um, show more athletic skill naturally, but the fact that she is giving that effort during every class. Um, so congratulations, Miley. All right, guys. My fifth graders, I wish you best of luck in middle school, but the rest of you guys, I will see you again next year. Um, so if you did not win an award with me this year, there's always next year. And fifth grade, congratulations, and I hope you enjoy middle school. Hi, guys. Hope you've had a great day of learning today. Look, it's time for our April monthly awards. Yeah, you know what that means? We have one month left of school. That is crazy. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with our third grade award. Our third grade award is going to a young man, and I'll just go ahead and tell you who it is, and I'll read his uh, certificate for you. That goes to Maze. Your award says, Maze, you have already reached your goal for the year on the recorder. Wow, black belt soon awaits. Yes, Maze, I don't think you will have a bit of problem reaching the black belt before you leave Tigerville Elementary School. Yeah. Okay. Our next award in fourth grade is also going to a young man. I really struggled over fourth grade. I'm just going to be honest. I have so many in fourth grade doing an amazing job right now. So it was kind of hard for me to pick this one. Really hard. Okay. But this one is going to Talon. Talk about a recorder master. You are doing an amazing job. No doubt you will reach black belt and beyond. Talon, I do believe that you'll be on second degree songs by next year without any problem at all. You are doing a great job and you've worked really hard because I'm telling you, there's several fourth graders that I could have given this award to. It's really difficult to decide. Fifth grade. Okay, I hate to admit this, it is also going to another young man. Yep, my boys are rocking it, I guess. I'm not sure, 
Girls, you're doing a great job. This one is going to Kingston. It says, Kingston, well, you only have a few more weeks to reach Black Belt. I'm so proud of how much you have learned this year. Kingston, you're kind of one of those real quiet fellows that um, just sits back and does your work. And sometimes uh, because you're not one that I'm having to get on to or I'm not having to tell you to get your work done because you always do your work, you just kind of fly under the radar. But I'm so proud of you. You really are doing a great job. Keep up the good work. And I hope you're taking some kind of music in middle school. Okay, guys, we have one more monthly awards to go. I wonder who's going to get them. I'll see you in class. Bye-bye. Hey guys, it's time for the Growth Mindset Award. All right, now remember, Growth Mindset is when you don't give up, even if it's hard. You keep trying anyway. So, the following students are Growth Mindset Award winners for this last month. In third grade, Ezra. In fourth grade, Braylon H. And... In fifth grade, trip. Good job, guys. You didn't give up, even if it didn't come easy. You kept trying anyway, and you worked hard to overcome the challenge. I'm very proud of you guys. Keep up the hard work. Hey, boys and girls, I cannot believe that it is already the month of May. This year has just flown by. Let's jump right in and find out who our library superstars are for the month of April. The library superstar for third grade loves to read. I noticed that he loves books about dogs. More specifically, he loves the Diary of a Pug series. This month's library superstar for third grade is Carter. The April library superstar in fourth grade has worked hard all year. I noticed that she takes her time in choosing her library books. She searches the library until she finds the perfect book. She also loves drawing. This month's library superstar for fourth grade is Sabrina. The April library superstar in fifth grade is new to our school. I noticed that he makes friends easily and tries to help everyone. He can be trusted to follow directions and work independently. This month's library superstar for fifth grade is Jaden. Boys and girls, it's almost time for summer. I want to encourage you to continue reading. Read this summer. Read for 20 minutes a day if you can. And I can't wait to see who's going to get our May Awards. Well, hello, boys and girls. It's Miss Smith. And boy, is it getting to be springtime in a hurry. Well, you know, the flowers are blooming and the butterflies, well, they're fluttering. And the bees, well, they're just buzzing away. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Well, let me just tell you that it is already time for our April Awards because we're actually in May and we go back and do these videos so that we can honor those people in April that were amazing artists. Well, welcome to the art room. We're back here live and I'm going to share with you some amazing artists today from the month of April. So let's get started. My first award winner is in third grade. And the third grades, um, I'm excited to say that this is a girl and that she is, her name is Emma, Emma C. Emma C is a very good artist. She has great art skills and adds creative details to make her works special. She loves to put so much detail into her work and so much creative detailing that I often have to move her along in her process in order for her to actually get things finished. But I love that she is an artsy girl. I love that about Emma. Currently, she is making a clay tile with a goldfish bowl theme, and she's putting 100% effort into her project. I know that it will be great. I am excited to say that Emma is my amazing artist for third grade for this month of April. And you know what that means, Emma? That means that this toot goes out to you. <laughs> Out 
Excellent. Congratulations, Emma. Our next winner is in fourth grade. And this fourth grade artist is also a girl. Tiana is a natural born artist. She is so talented and creative in many areas. She's a strong young artist. She loves to act and do dramatic roles, sings, and even writes creatively. She's the total artsy package. She is. Currently, she is working on a clay tile with an under the sea theme. I can't wait to see the final project. Well, I certainly love working with Tiana, and I know that I'm excited that I'm and very grateful that I will have Tiana for another year as she comes to her fifth grade year here at Tigerville. So I love you, Tiana, and this toot goes out especially to you. Excellent. Great job, Tiana. Congratulations. And finally, we have our fifth grade winner for our amazing artist for the month of April. And guess what? It's a girl. Sorry, guys. Girls ruled this month. My eyes kept falling on the girls doing the right things and making good choices. This young lady is Gracie. Gracie is a special young artist. She has the sweetest personality and she's always offering to help and always listening to things that I mentioned that I could use. And then she just shows up with it and it's so cool. She works hard to follow directions and then adds her own creative spin on her work. She's a member of my Strong Arts Inc. Art Club and has been a lot of fun to work with. I'm going to miss her when she moves on to middle school, but here's hoping that she always comes back because we know we love her here at Tigerville. I love you, Gracie. And this toot, my friend, fifth grade year, goes out to you. Had to be good. It's the fifth grade year. Well, that concludes our April awards. And I'm a little bit sad because this is our last video for this school year of awards. But on a good note, there's one more chance to win Amazing Artist for the month of May. So those awards, instead of doing videos, they will be placed into your folder with all of your other fabulous awards of you wonderful people. And they will be given out at our in-person award ceremonies at the end of the year. So don't forget, I will still be looking to see, will you be my amazing artist? I sure do hope so. Time's running out. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you around the art room. Bye now.